no door. Meghan banned forever from palace after Queen made decision cut all ties with traitors. Meghan Markle has left royal circles wondering whether she will ever visit the UK again after the Duchess of Sussex cut off nearly all her remaining links to the country. Meghan Markle has not set foot in the UK since she and Prince Harry attended their last event as working members of the royal family in 2020. After a brief stint in Canada, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex set up their new family home in California despite maintaining their residence in the UK. But with Meghan now having cut nearly all her remaining links to the UK, royal correspondent Richard Palmer questioned whether she will ever return to England. Speaking to Royal Roundup's host Pandora Forsyth, Mr Palmer said, she's cutting ties with British charities, there's only one left now, smart works. Perhaps that patronage continues, I don't know. The hardened fact is in all of this is she and Harry are based in the States. He continued, formally, they remain residents in the UK but people inside the royal circles are really not sure whether we'll ever see Meghan ever again in the UK. Harry, I'm sure, will be back eventually. Probably when he comes to Holland for the Invictus Games, he'll probably spend some days in the UK. On Wednesday, the animal rescue charity Mayhew announced they had decided with Meghan Markle she would no longer serve as their patron. The news came after the Duchess revealed close friend Ollie just had passed away, prompting Mayhew's chief executive Howard Bridges to reveal she had generously made a donation in memory of her dear friend. Mr Bridges added, although we have mutually agreed not to extend the patronage, as a committed rescue pet parent, the Duchess will continue to support Mayhew and champion our ambitions. Her enthusiasm for our mission has inspired many more people to support and donate to our charity to save dogs and cats from a life of cruelty and neglect, support local pet owners in crisis, and find loving and forever homes for abandoned animals. Mayhew was personally chosen by the Duchess of Sussex as one of the first charities she became a patron of when she first joined the royal family in 2019. Meghan Markle is known to be a passionate animal welfare advocate and to have adopted rescue dogs in the past. She and Prince Harry are the proud donors of Beagle Guy and a black Labrador believed to be named Poole. There is no way for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to improve their relationship with the royal family as they are still considered outsiders, an expert believes. Meghan and Harry have no room to heal and build bridges yet as there is still so much animosity, royal commentator Kinsey Schofield claims. More than a year on from the couple's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, there is no suggest the reconciliation is imminent, report. The Duke of Sussex missed his grandfather Prince Philip's memorial service last month as the row over his security rumbles on. It is still not known if he will attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this summer. As tensions surrounding his tell-all memoir which is due to be published in the autumn rise, royal expert Mrs Schofield says as his grandmother ages, the need to make things better grows greater. She told, I don't think that there's any room to heal at this point because there's so much pushback from the Sussexes. I just feel like there's so much animosity right now that they're considered outsiders. We don't have much time left with the Queen and I wish that he, Harry, would heal the broken wounds that are happening right now so that we can look in the future and one day hopefully see Harry and Meghan within the fold, maybe not working royals, but invited for holidays, invited for Christmas. The couple have yet to confirm if they will be back in Britain for the Queen's big celebrations. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are said to be top of Victoria and David Beckham's guest list for their son Brooklyn Beckham's wedding to Nicola Peltz in Florida this weekend's wedding to Nick.